up to another good, good morning, time to go. Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement in the chase, this I know. Yeah, I'm going for the ride, and by myself I am alive, and I soar. Still I run towards the wind, and let the challenge draw me in, cause I want more. Welcome to our new family channel. Guides and crayons! Where we use different segments such as fun facts, close encounters and creative crafts to learn about different topics every week and take these four young boys on adventures. This week we had a closer look at elephants. We've learned some amazing things. Have a listen to some of the facts. One. The trunk of an elephant is the nose and the upper lip. There are no bones in the trunk, which means that elephants have the flexibility to move their trunk in whatever direction they need to. Elephants have an amazing sense of smell. They use their trunks to find food and water, as well as to avoid danger like predators and even landmines. It is no secret that elephants like to swim. However, did you know that elephants use their trunks like snorkels? Elephants also use their trunks to show compassion or comfort to another elephant. They typically stroke the head and back of other elephants with their trunks. The baby elephants even have the tendency to suck on their trunks for comfort. Number two. The tusks of elephants are long teeth and are made of ivory. African elephants will use their tusks as a defense mechanism against predators or when they are being charged by another elephant. During the dry season, elephants will use their tusks to dig water holes in dry riverbeds to get water. To help gather food, elephants will use their tusks to strip bark from trees to eat. At times, they also act as a resting place for the elephant's very heavy trunk. Number three. Elephant's ears are made up of thousands of blood vessels that are thin and close to the skin. This allows the excess body heat to escape the elephant's body to regulate its body temperature. Another reason why elephants have big ears is to use their ears as fans to cool off their bodies. The ears are also often used to communicate visually. Flapping ears can signify either aggression or joy. And finally, elephants' ears, used in conjunction with the soles of their feet and their trunk, aid in the ability to hear sounds over long distances. Number 4 Unlike most mammals, elephants do not sweat. They cool themselves down through a process which requires the skin to be wet. When elephants bathe, the water gets stored in the folds and cracks in their skin that help them stay cool. In addition to absorbing water, an elephant's skin can also hold dust and mud. When an elephant takes a mud bath or sprays dirt on itself, it is protecting its sensitive skin from the sun and dangerous parasites. Number 5 Unlike stories suggest, elephants are not afraid of mice. They are, however, terrified of bees. So some African farmers protect their fields from elephant damage by lining the borders with beehives. We live in the beautiful coastal town of Hermanus, South Africa. It is from here that we will be planning all our adventures and it is with an open heart that we invite you to join along. This week's craft activity really had the boys excited. Let's see what it was. This week we painted Alma the elephant. And we made toothpaste.
So you do, today we are painting Elmer the patchwork elephant. We are using six different colors of paint and we've taken normal kitchen sponges and just cut them into smaller cubes for our, dif for our different colors. Okay, are you two ready? Yay! And we'll add this template for you in the description below the video. Okay, let's go. Sleeves up. Leon, you can your sleeves up. Sleeves up. Elephants are the world's largest land animals. Their brains are also the biggest in the animal kingdom. Their ears look like Africa. They spend 18 hours each day eating. Elephants never forget. Elephants can feel emotions. Baby elephants stay with their mothers for 10 years. Elephants can recognize themselves in a mellow. So we finished our pictures. Let's show the explorers, Leon. Piet, show them your picture. We're going to let them dry. Then I'll cut them with the, cut them out of the scissors yeah. and just use a permanent marker yeah. to color in the yeah. eyes and the ears again. So our elephants have dried. We've cut them out and filled in the ears and the eyes. If you don't know the story of Alma the patchwork elephant, follow the link below this video to listen to the story. Leon? Yes? Do you know how elephants brush their teeth? No with elephant toothpaste. Thanks mom for the very cool elephant art. Boys, did you know that the tusks of an elephant, the teeth, can be up to two meters long or six feet? They can't use toothpaste like this. Let's make some elephant toothpaste. Okay, in these two containers, We've got some hydrogen peroxide. You can get that at your local pharmacy um, close to you. We've also got some dishwashing liquid and some food coloring. Our catalyst for this experiment is some um, yeast that you use to bake bread. Um, and we've just got a little bit of hot water with that. Are you ready, boys? Yes. Okay, let's see the elephant toothpaste happen. Ready, steady, go, Leon. And look how let's go. Ready, steady, go. What's going to happen at me? That's pretty cool! Awesome! That should be enough toothpaste for the elephant, eh? You can also keep your hands high above it. Do not touch it and feel how warm it gets. Look at that steam come up. Good job, guys. High five. High five, Leon. Fantastic. Yeah. Try and make your own elephant toothpaste at home, but remember to get your mom and dad to help you and do not touch it with your hands and do not brush your teeth with it. Exploring our natural world and learning to respect nature brings a lot of excitement. From finding a tiny bug under a rock and searching for secretive chameleons in trees, to watching whales from the shore or walking with elephants. Join us in reliving this week's special encounter. Elephant walk. Ah. 
we had a lovely clock the Lord going to the elephant. Our game ranger's name was Mac. He told us how important and wonderful elephants are and that they should be protected. He has a personal relationship with each of them and he made us feel so welcome and safe. This bird really likes the lime one. The bird also liked my dad. I think I'm a really good cameraman. This was the best day ever! We left on a trap filled with happy hearts. Elephants are amazing animals. Thank you for watching this episode. Remember to hit the subscribe button to see all future adventures. Bye!